Welcome to the quick hitter version of Buckets, Boards, and Blocks. I'm Monica McNutt alongside my co-host, King McClure. This week, our featured conversation dives a little bit into why the Wizards have gotten so hot as of late and the leadership and play of Russell Westbrook. I mean, Russ has just, I mean, he was already way up here, but he mm -hmm. seems, he's like out of the frame. He's so good now. I mean, I mean, that game on uh, Wednesday night, I mean, triple double with like high I mean, 18 yeah. rebounds, right? Yeah. And I think 14 assists. He yeah. didn't have a turnover until like midway through the fourth quarter, right? And he had like 14 assists. Um, you know, it didn't it didn't look like much at the beginning when they were six and 17. But um, golly, but I think, and again, not using COVID as an excuse, but I, I know when they beat, mm, I don't, I can't remember who they beat, but it was sort of in the midst of Russ turning folks' head in terms of breaking the triple double record i texted a couple folks over there and they're like yo like simply put russ is healthy the team is healthy like and we take for granted just how eaten up they had been by covid after i can't remember which game but i was listening to a post game interview with bradley bill and the local team asked him you know two months ago could you envision this streak for this team and he's like two months ago i don't even know if we had five guys like we were that depleted yeah. and i think that's real he how much, so how okay. much? How much was? You, you remember when? When who was that? Was it Stephen A. That, that that started talking about Russ? Yeah. Real crazy. And his wife clapped back. How, yeah. How much of a factor do you think that played in Russ's mentality? You think you think that this is solely because he's tired of, of the critics talking about his triple doubles don't 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 lead to winning, or 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 do you think it's just just the the, the uh, good timing? I guess. Uh, I think it has zero to do with critics. I think Russ is one of the very rare beings that literally does not care. Mm. Like zero F's given. Like, <laughs> and I, I think from him, that's legit. Cause think about it. I remember reading, I don't remember if it was the GQ piece, but he's talked very candidly. He was not predicted to get to the league. Like all of the things that have happened for him none of it was predicted and so he moves with a sense of gratitude and urgency and an ability to be true to himself he didn't come in with the same kind of hype that a KD did when they were all in OKC so he's I mean he's on record saying stuff like that so I think for him and he talked about it this week the bits of his press conference was going viral as he talked about you know I don't cheat the game like I play hard every night and that's just it and I think whether we like it love it want him to be a better shooter maybe he can't win whatever legit he's probably one of the very few guys that could care less and I don't think hella productive. I don't think he gets enough credit for his basketball IQ because mm -hmm. he's really sort of changed his game, you know, recently. Because for years and years and years, he was going 120 miles an hour all the time. And I remember Avery Johnson, the, the great coach, used to we used to talk about point guards and guards. And he said, the best guys learn need to learn how to change speeds. Yeah. And and Russ never learned how to change speeds, but now he's sort of learned how to change speeds a little bit. And I think that's make him better. And it's allowed him to make his teammates better too. Um, he's slowed down just a little bit. And I think, you know, that's really helped him and it's helped their team. No, that, that, that's huge. As a guard, you have to be able to change pace. And, but, but it kind of sort of like makes it, makes Russ just that much harder to guard. Cause I can imagine guarding them. Like if a dude's coming at you 120 miles per hour, like you got to make a quick decision. Like I'm either going to step in front of this, I'm either going to cut them off and you got to guess. And if you don't guess right, then you're getting blown by. And it's an easy lab. You kind of look back. I was hooping the other day and dude came at me like 80 miles an hour. It wasn't even like nowhere near Russ, 80 miles an hour. And I guessed wrong. And I was like, oh man, I can just imagine going against Russell Westbrook and him coming at me a hundred miles an hour. And I'm like, oh, shit, I got to make a decision. So like, I feel like that right there makes him so hard to guard. But you're right, as a good guard, if he could learn how to change speeds like he's kind of done now, I think that'll make him way more effective because if he can go at 100 or he can go at like 60, that makes him that much harder to guard. If you'd like to hear more from myself, Monica, and Bruce, check out the full version of Bucket Boys and Blocks presented by Kirhoos Media and also, we're going digital, we're on YouTube, baby. Go check us out.